Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Nostalgia. Today, we have a somber update. We'll be sharing a list of notable celebrities who have recently passed away, with their deaths announced in the past 24 hours. As always, we have heartfelt tributes in our top headlines section. Before we begin, we'd appreciate your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. Thank you. Dario G., born Paul Spencer on May 19, 1971 in Crewe, gained international acclaim as a trailblazer in the 1990s dance music scene. His stage name became synonymous with irresistible beats and unforgettable melodies that enchanted listeners worldwide. Originally a trio formed with Scott Rosser and Steven Spencer, no relation, Dario G. emerged from their small studio in Cheshire to dominate the charts with iconic hits like Sunshine and Carnival de Paris. Tragically, Dario G. passed away at 53 after a courageous battle with stage 4 rectal cancer, diagnosed in 2023. Throughout his career, Paul Spencer left an indelible mark on the music industry, selling over 600,000 copies of Sunshine in the UK alone and topping dance charts globally. His music became a soundtrack for joyous celebrations, epitomized by Carnival de Paris, an anthem of the 1998 World Cup. Beyond his musical achievements, Dario G's journey was characterized by resilience and generosity. Despite facing significant health challenges, he remained positive and inspired countless fans and fellow artists with his courage and determination. His collaborations with legends like Shirley Bassey and Clean Bandit underscored his versatility and lasting influence. Paul Spencer's legacy extends far beyond his chart-topping hits. He used his platform to advocate for cancer awareness, urging others to prioritize their health. His final days were a testament to his spirit as he continued to inspire hope through music and activism. In tribute to Dario G, his family, friends, and fans remember him not only for his musical genius, but also for his kindness and unwavering spirit. His legacy will continue to resonate through the beats of his timeless creations, ensuring that his impact on the world of music remains everlasting. Celebrated for co-writing the timeless hit Everlasting Love and contributing to the success of numerous music legends, Buzz Kaysen was a pivotal figure in the American music industry. A versatile talent, Kaysen excelled as a rock singer, songwriter, record producer, and author, leaving an indelible mark on the world of music. His musical journey began as a founding member of The Casuals, Nashville's first rock and roll band. Under the pseudonym Gary Miles, his solo career saw chart success with a cover of Look for a Star in 1960. Kaysen's songwriting brilliance shone with Everlasting Love, a song that garnered international acclaim and became a timeless classic, recorded by various artists across generations. Beyond his songwriting, Kaysen served as a backing vocalist for legends like Elvis Presley and Kenny Rogers. His creative workshop recording studio became a creative haven for renowned artists such as Dolly Parton, Jimmy Buffett, and Jerry Reed, among many others. His memoir, Living the Rock and Roll Dream, The Adventures of Buzz Kaysen, offered an intimate glimpse into the vibrant early days of rock and roll, sharing his rich experiences and insights into the music scene. Buzz Kaysen's passing at 84 marks the end of an era in the music industry. His legacy lives on through his enduring songs, his contributions to the careers of countless artists, and the captivating stories he shared in his memoir. Tributes to Buzz Kaysen honor a life filled with music, passion, and an unyielding spirit. Jackson James Rice, a rising star in kite foil racing and a promising Olympic contender, 
tragically passed away at 18 in a diving accident in Vavau, Tonga. Born in the U.S. but representing Tonga, Rice was on the brink of making history as an Olympic debutante at the 2024 Paris Games. His fervor for kite foiling earned him a place on the Olympic team after an impressive eighth-place finish at the Sale Sydney event in December 2023. A gifted athlete, Rice was celebrated for his exceptional skill and unwavering dedication to his sport, which shone through in his remarkable achievements at such a young age. Beyond his athletic pursuits, Rice was hailed for his heroic actions in 2021 when he saved two girls from a capsized ferry boat in Vavau. His bravery and selflessness were a true reflection of his character and his commitment to helping others. Rice's untimely passing has left a profound void in the kite-foiling community and the wider sports world. His potential and promise were undeniable, and his loss is deeply mourned by everyone who knew him. Tributes have poured in from friends, family, and fellow athletes, all sharing cherished memories of Rice's infectious enthusiasm, kind heart, and extraordinary talent. Jackson James Rice's legacy will continue to inspire aspiring athletes, serving as a reminder of the importance of courage, determination, and sportsmanship. His memory will forever be cherished, and his contributions to the sport of kite foiling will never be forgotten. Mike Brumley, a versatile and respected figure in Major League Baseball, tragically passed away in a traffic collision at the age of 61. His legacy as a skilled player, dedicated coach, and mentor to countless athletes will be forever cherished. Born on April 9, 1963 in Oklahoma City, Brumley's baseball journey began when he was drafted by the Boston Red Sox in 1983. He made his major league debut in 1987 with the Chicago Cubs. During his nine-year career as a utility player, Brumley primarily played shortstop, showcasing exceptional defensive skills and versatility at the plate for six different teams. After his playing career, Brumley transitioned seamlessly into coaching, where his passion for the game continued to shine. He managed minor league teams, including the Salt Lake Stingers and the Ogden Raptors, nurturing young talent and instilling values of hard work and dedication. At the major league level, Brumley served as a base coach for the Seattle Mariners and an assistant hitting coach for the Chicago Cubs. Beyond his accomplishments on the field and in the dugout, Brumley was known for his warm personality and unwavering commitment to his players. He was more than a coach. He was a mentor and a friend leaving a lasting impact on everyone he worked with. Mike Brumley's passing leaves a significant void in the baseball community, but his legacy will continue to inspire future generations of players and coaches. His dedication to the game, his passion for teaching, and his genuine kindness will always be remembered. His memory will forever be a part of the rich history of Major League Baseball. Eric Kenwell, an esteemed Canadian film and television director, was celebrated for his significant contributions to the Quebec film industry, most notably for directing the landmark film Bon Cop, Bad Cop. Born in 1961 in Montreal, Quebec, Kenwell infused his work with a distinctive artistic vision that earned him numerous awards and nominations throughout his career. The son of actor Yvon Kenwell, Eric initially carved out a niche in the mid-1980s by directing music videos for artists like Paul Pichet and Sass Jordan. His versatility also shone through in numerous award-winning TV commercials. By the late 1990s, Canuel had transitioned into television, directing episodes for series such as Big Wolf on Campus and The Hunger. In 2000, Canuel's talent was further recognized when his IMAX film, Hemingway, a portrait won a Genie Award for Best Short Documentary. His cinematic prowess continued with films like The Pig's Law, Le Servanant, and The Last Tunnel. 
his 2006 film, Bon Cop, Bad Cop, not only achieved critical acclaim, but also became a cultural phenomenon in Canada. Canuel's later career included directing television series like Being Erica, and, most recently, the 2020 series Transplant. His work often featured cameos of himself, adding a personal touch to his films. Tragically, Eric Canuel passed away from plasma cell leukemia at the age of 63. His passing marks a significant loss to the film community in Canada and beyond. He leaves behind a legacy of innovative filmmaking that pushed the boundaries of Canadian cinema and inspired a generation of filmmakers and audiences alike. Eric Canuel's visionary direction and contributions to the arts have left an everlasting mark on the industry. His work continues to inspire and resonate, reflecting his profound impact on film and television. Barbara Gladstone, a towering figure in the contemporary art world and founder of the Gladstone Gallery, was celebrated for her pivotal role in shaping the careers of many influential artists. Born in 1935 in New York City, Gladstone left her position as an art history professor to open her own gallery in Manhattan in 1980. Starting with a modest space, she quickly became a formidable force in the international art market, expanding her gallery's presence to Brussels, Seoul, and Los Angeles. Throughout her illustrious career, Gladstone was renowned for her discerning eye and unwavering commitment to artists who pushed the boundaries of contemporary art. She represented over 70 artists and estates, including luminaries like Robert Mapplethorpe, Matthew Barney, and Anish Kapoor. Her gallery was a cornerstone for artists who achieved not only commercial success, but also critical acclaim, such as Keith Haring and Carol Dunham. Gladstone's approach to art dealing was characterized by a profound respect for artistic creativity and a belief in art's power to influence society. She played a crucial role in introducing challenging and innovative works to the public, curating exhibitions that were both intellectually rigorous and accessible. Gladstone was particularly noted for her close, supportive relationships with her artists, guiding them through the complexities of the art world while nurturing their creative processes. Her influence extended beyond her gallery spaces. She was a passionate advocate for artists' rights, tirelessly working to ensure fair representation and compensation. Her leadership blended sharp business acumen with genuine passion for art, earning her respect and admiration within the art community. Barbara Gladstone passed away at the age of 89 in Paris after a brief illness. Her legacy is defined by her unwavering support of contemporary art and her role in shaping the careers of some of the most significant artists of her time. She leaves behind a thriving gallery that continues to champion cutting-edge art and a family committed to carrying forward her vision. Tributes to Barbara Gladstone honor her extraordinary impact on the art world and her enduring spirit. Bruce Bastian, the co-founder of WordPerfect and a devoted philanthropist, was a transformative figure in both the technology industry and the LGBTQ community. Born in Twin Falls, Idaho, Bastian's innovative spirit and steadfast commitment to social justice have left a lasting legacy. Bastian's academic journey at Brigham Young University, where he earned degrees in music and computer science, laid the foundation for his pioneering work in software development. His collaboration with Alan Ashton led to the creation of WordPerfect, a groundbreaking word processing software that revolutionized industry standards and became a global phenomenon. Beyond his technological achievements, Bastian's relentless advocacy for LGBTQ rights was a defining aspect of his life. He generously supported organizations such as Encircle, the Utah Pride Center, and Equality Utah, and his philanthropic efforts extended to the Human Rights Campaign, 
where he donated over $1 million to champion equality. A patron of the arts, Bastian's generosity touched institutions like the Utah Symphony, Utah Opera, Ballet West, and numerous programs at the University of Utah. His dedication to enriching the cultural landscape of his community fostered a vibrant art scene. Bruce Bastian's passing at the age of 76 is a profound loss, but his spirit lives on in the countless lives he touched through his innovation, advocacy, and philanthropy. His memory will forever inspire those who strive to make a positive impact on the world. Tributes to Bruce Bastian honor a life of remarkable achievement, compassion, and enduring influence. Endure Enrique Pinder, a celebrated Panamanian professional boxer, left an indelible mark on the sport during his career from 1966 to 1973. Pinder's defining moment came in July 1972 when he claimed the undisputed WBA, WBC, and the ring bantamweight titles in a decisive victory over Rafael Herrera. This historic achievement solidified his place among boxing's elite and brought immense pride to his homeland of Panama. Pinder's reign as champion was unfortunately short-lived. He lost the titles in his first defense against Romeo Anaya in January 1973. Despite this setback, Pinder's career was marked by resilience and determination. He continued to compete until his retirement in 1973, leaving behind an impressive record of 35 wins, including 13 knockouts seven losses, and two draws. Beyond his accomplishments in the ring, Pinder's impact on the sport extended to his role as an inspiration for aspiring boxers in Panama and beyond. His rise to the top of the bantamweight division demonstrated the power of dedication and skill, creating a lasting legacy in the world of boxing. Enrique Pinder's passing at the age of 76 marks the end of an era in Panamanian boxing, but his contributions to the sport will never be forgotten. His story remains a testament to the triumph of the human spirit and continues to inspire those who dream of achieving greatness in the ring. Tributes to Enrique Pinder honor a life filled with courage, determination, and an unwavering passion for boxing. What's Trending on the Internet News 1 The vibrant online community is deeply saddened by the unexpected passing of Farah El Qadi, a beloved Tunisian influencer renowned for her warm personality and captivating Instagram posts that showcased her travels and life experiences. With over a million followers, Farah tragically passed away in Malta on Monday morning. While details are still emerging, it is believed that the 36-year-old architect suffered a sudden cardiac event despite the efforts of medical professionals at Modern Day Hospital, where she could not be revived. During her time in Malta, Farah enjoyed both a holiday and promoted various businesses through her platform. Her final posts documented her explorations of the island's stunning landscapes, including St. Julian's and the Victoriosa Marina. Friends and followers fondly remember Farah as a kind, generous, and positive soul who brought joy to everyone around her. Fellow influencer Sua Hanania described her as a truly wonderful person whose positive spirit touched the lives of many. News 2 a sudden storm has tragically claimed the life of beloved Moldovan film director Arkady Spoyala. At 36, he was enjoying a family camping trip along the banks of the Nistru River when the storm unexpectedly struck. Spoyala passed away after being struck by a falling branch. He was a rising star in the Moldovan film industry, renowned for his thought-provoking documentaries and captivating storytelling. His untimely death is a profound loss to the artistic community. The storm also took the life of a 13-year-old girl in the capital city of Chisinau. She was discovered beneath a fallen tree by city workers. 
These tragic incidents underscore the importance of storm preparedness and safety. We extend our deepest condolences to the families and friends of all the victims affected by this devastating event. News 3. Don Omar, the renowned reggaeton icon, has taken to Instagram to share a personal and unexpected update. He is battling cancer. Alongside a photo of his hospital bracelet, Don Omar penned a message of hope and defiance, stating, Today, yes, but tomorrow I won't have cancer. This revelation has deeply shocked and saddened fans worldwide, yet Don Omar's characteristic optimism shines through his words. Known for his electrifying performances and chart-topping hits like Danza Kuduro, the Puerto Rican artist has always exuded infectious energy. Despite this difficult diagnosis, his resilient spirit is evident in his determination to overcome this challenge. The news comes as Don Omar is experiencing a resurgence in popularity, thanks to his acclaimed album Forever King and the ongoing Back to Reggaeton tour. His fans have rallied around him, flooding social media with well wishes and messages of encouragement. While the specifics of Don Omar's cancer remain undisclosed, his message is clear. He is ready to fight. His indomitable spirit, combined with the unwavering support of his fans, promises a powerful journey towards recovery. As he continues to grace the stage with his music, Don Omar's story becomes a testament to the strength of the human spirit, proving that even in the face of adversity, hope can prevail. News 5 Bernardo Marziani, a young Italian model celebrated for his professional achievements and courageous public battle with cancer, passed away at the age of 20 on June 14th. Marziani fought bravely against Ying sarcoma, a rare form of bone cancer diagnosed in 2022, for two years. Throughout his journey, he faced the disease with resilience, undergoing extensive chemotherapy and sharing his experience openly with thousands of followers online. Despite the severity of his condition, which eventually metastasized, Marziani remained committed to educating and inspiring others about cancer. He emphasized the importance of early detection and perseverance, offering practical tips on managing treatment side effects such as using a cold cap to prevent hair loss. Marziani also candidly shared his symptoms and emotional challenges, aiming to raise awareness and provide support to those in similar circumstances. Marziani split his time between Rome and Amsterdam, where he pursued studies in anthropology. His life was characterized by a passion for learning and a dedication to helping others understand the realities of living with cancer. As the son of notable figures in journalism and art criticism, his cultural and intellectual heritage profoundly influenced his approach to life and his determination in confronting its most daunting challenges. News 4 Princess Kate, the beloved Princess of Wales, has shared a hopeful glimpse into her cancer journey with the release of a new photo and a heartfelt update. The image, captured at Windsor, shows a serene Kate resting against a tree with her gaze directed upwards. According to body language experts, this peaceful pose reflects both self-soothing and hopeful sentiments, which are echoed in her accompanying message. Princess Kate has revealed that she is making good progress in her treatment, but acknowledges the challenges of chemotherapy. Despite the ups and downs, she remains positive, drawing strength from her family and the overwhelming support from the public. She eagerly anticipates returning to her royal duties as soon as her health allows. This update marks Princess Kate's first public announcement since Christmas 2023. Her resilience and optimism have resonated with people worldwide, inspiring those facing similar challenges and reminding us all of the power of hope in adversity. The photo, symbolizing her strength and grace, serves as a beacon of hope for many. News 6. John J. York, 
The beloved actor renowned for his enduring portrayal of Max Scorpio on ABC's General Hospital has made a heartwarming comeback to the show following a courageous battle against cancer. Diagnosed with myelodysplastic syndrome and smoldering multiple myeloma in late 2022, York temporarily stepped away from acting to focus on his health. In a heartfelt interview with Good Morning America on Monday, York expressed his deep gratitude for the overwhelming support from fans and colleagues. He described his return to the show as feeling like a rejuvenating break, despite undergoing rigorous treatments, including chemotherapy and a successful blood stem cell transplant. Throughout his journey, York's spirit has remained unyielding. His treatment included finding a perfect match for a stem cell donor, a pivotal factor in his remarkable recovery. York's inspiring story has prompted a surge in registrations on the Bone Marrow Donor Registry, underscoring the impact of his advocacy on public health awareness. As he resumes his role this Wednesday, York's return signifies not only a personal triumph, but also serves as a beacon of hope for countless others confronting similar challenges. His resilience and unwavering optimism stand as enduring testaments to his character, both on and off the screen. News 7. Bob Schul, the sole American to ever claim Olympic gold in the 5,000 meters, has passed away at the age of 86. He died in an assisted living facility in Middletown, Ohio, as confirmed by his daughter, Robin Thurber. Schul had been battling dementia in his later years. His historic victory occurred during the 1964 Tokyo Olympics on a rain-soaked track, where he delivered a breathtaking performance to secure the gold medal. Trained under the legendary coach Mihaly Igloy, Schul was renowned for his formidable kick, overtaking France's Michel Jay-Z in the final stretch with an impressive final 300 meters in just 38.7 seconds. His triumph marked a pivotal moment in track and field ending a 32-year medal drought for the U.S. in the event. Born in West Milton, Ohio, Schul's athletic talent was evident from an early age, propelling him into a storied career that included breaking the American record for the 5,000 meters in 1964. Beyond his Olympic success, Schul remained deeply committed to the sport, serving as a coach and mentor, influencing many with the training methods he had learned from Igloy. His impact on the field was profound, remembered not only for his achievements but also for his passion for the sport and its community. Bob Schul's legacy will endure in the annals of American distance running, commemorated by all who were inspired by his dedication and remarkable performances. News 8. Love Island. UK star Jack Fowler narrowly escaped a life-threatening situation during a flight to Dubai when he was served a meal containing cashews, despite disclosing a severe nut allergy. The 28-year-old reality TV star shared a distressing video on Instagram, showing him using an EpiPen to manage a severe allergic reaction triggered by a chicken curry. Despite Fowler's explicit warnings to the flight crew about his allergy, his ordeal began shortly after consuming the meal, leading to immediate respiratory distress. His quick action with the EpiPen and the swift response of the Emirates flight crew with oxygen support were crucial in managing the situation. Upon landing, Fowler was swiftly taken to a local hospital for further treatment. In his post, Fowler expressed frustration over the airline's negligence and stressed the urgent need for airlines to take passenger allergies more seriously. His experience, unfortunately, is not unique, as he had faced a similar situation with another airline the previous year. By sharing his story publicly, Fowler aims to raise awareness about the importance of accurate meal descriptions and rigorous adherence to safety protocols to prevent potentially fatal incidents. He calls on all airlines to enhance their food safety protocols and ensure that cabin crews are fully informed and compliant with passengers' health needs. As that concludes today's video. 
We hope our tributes have honored the memories of those we've lost and brought you a moment to reflect on their impact. If you found this video meaningful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Nostalgia. Take care.